Good morning. So uh, this morning, what we're going to do, I think uh, we're at the point of um, adding icons and a bit of kind of polish to the edit. Um, edit snippet, um, or rather how I get into edit snippet. Um, and then I think I want to do a couple of little things about um, the add and edit uh, screens to help them be a little bit more user friendly. Um, so um, what's the state of play? bring up the, uh, the dev version. So I'll just get rid of that terminal. So at the moment in uh, the basic management mode, if I go onto the list, um, I can hit the right arrow key and go into edit. Um, but if I like I'm done, I've decided not to do that. I can't hit escape to get back out. I have to go down to the cancel. Um, and another thing is I can click in, um, but there's no sort of indicator that either the right arrow key or the click give you edit. So those are the two things I want to do. And the same kind of goes for the add. Um, I want to be able to just hit escape to do the same as cancel there. Um, so let's do that. Let's get the um, icon up and running first. I think that's the most important. So that you can tell that we're in the mode where you can edit. So we want um, Want to change the list item? So, at the moment, uh, a list item consists of um, potentially a shortcut button, which is the uh, numbered version, and then we've got the same shortcut button being used for the abbreviation there, and then we have the snippet body. What I want to do is add an icon as well. So uh, let's see if I can remember. Well, let's let's do this. So we want to do if not select mode. We want to show an icon. Mm. Icon button. No, because you can click anywhere on the item in this scenario. So it is just an icon. Uh, and the data is going to be, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the icon is called. Uh, let's do a guess. Uh, it's probably like pencil or something like that. Try that. Did it import? It did. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, it went bang. Yep. Hmm. I think it's okay. It's obviously uh, 
front end rendering problem there. I've broken it somehow. Um, yeah, so something wrong about that. Let me check what the docs are like. Uh, well, actually, I don't even need to do that. I've got icons used elsewhere, so we've got it on here. Oh, I'm using icon button, aren't I? Oh, that's fine. I've got to get the dot icon. Forgot about that. Okay. Right, so I need to grab and then, yeah. So data, well, hopefully be something like that. Import. Oh, ruined it by doing that now. Uh, pencil square. Try that, I suppose. Hmm. Not quite what I wanted. That's a good point, actually. It's not, it shouldn't come after the span. Yeah. That is a bit of a problem in that I don't know what's going on there. Has it got Let's just see what's going on here? Yeah, it is there. That was, that was like a little dot. That's weird. And then it's got all this. Very strange. Okay. This is not what I want. So, um, first of all, let me change this to, I think that was right. Just so I get a different version. 
that's probably better. do need to do something different in the way that is actually formatted there. Hmm. I wonder. The structure's going to be a bit weird. It's kind of working there. But... It's not quite what I want. I always wanted to be off to the right at the end on all of these. And I clearly don't want them to be different sizes. They should be a consistent size. It's very strange that it's doing that. I guess it's restrained by the width there. So if I do scale one, hmm. Right then, I think we're going to have to do we're going to have to split this up. Which I really didn't want to have to do. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is open up the browser and have a little inspect of that because there's a few different ways I can do that. Let's work on this one so that I can Help it.
interest in... I've not put any flex or anything on there. Other than... It's not saying it's got any there, actually. I wonder. I wonder if I can do something like Uh, what is it? Is it a line item? No, a line self. Hmm. Okay, so that's the cross axis, of course. In that case, justify self. I should be able to go to end. No. I know what I can do. Let's try this. Hmm. Okay. Not quite what I wanted. Yes. What I could do come out. Let's have the body. Yeah. But we're hiding here. Why is that?
can I? Okay. But why is it the wrong size for the icon? In that scenario, do I need to Also set this, but make it zero, one, no, nope. auto. Okay, what about if I just did width um, on rem Okay, so that's kind of doable, but it's not really the way to do it. It's kind of a bit of a hack. I should do something flex. Um, And I'm going to struggle to do it here. The problem is I don't have access to the icons sort of class. to make it sort of global and I can't do that because then it affects everything else.
can't do that because it's adjusting everything else that I use it on. Still doesn't work here anyway. So, okay. How did I fix that before? I've done that. Um, where did I do that? Oh, that's right. I put a wrap around it. Let's do something like that. I might be able to do... Let's do this. Okay, if we do that, we don't have any extra styling. What do we get? Just want to see. Yeah, okay, that's good. So, if we do that, and then for the body, if we do flex one one auto, so it's yeah, that's it sorted. Okay not perfect there though so let's change this scale on that what if i do one is that going to be enough mm. it's a bit better Okay. Uh, we just need to fix the alignment. So we'll do we do icon wrapper. Display flex. Um that will cause a little bit of weirdness. Actually, did that just do what I wanted, what I wanted it to do? Yeah. Just brought it down in line. And I think I think I want to maybe change the colour. I think it maybe stands out a little bit too much. Did 
then again it does react properly to the focus which is kind of nice so maybe I should leave it Yeah, I think that's okay. And then should we um if I do a make oh. Do build pin stupid GUI and then search and paste version. Yep, it's not there. That's good. You can't do it right arrow, and when you click, it does the paste, which is fine. So nothing's broken there. Okay, uh, I think we've just done the edit icon. So let's save that away. Okay, so the last little thing I want to do today then is when you're in edit mode, I just want to be able to hit escape to use the cancel and I don't care whether it's changed or not. You can always go back in and rechange it. Um, so, Let's do that. This may be harder than I think it should be, but here we go. Uh, so where am I going to have this? It's going to have to be on screen, isn't it? So what I'm trying to do is in the list items at the moment, we have um, no, it's not in list items, is in the simplest list. In the HTML bit, he says on key down, we're calling a key down function. Um, and that basically does uh, a look at um, the event in the hand handle navigation here. And we're basically looking at the key to see what we've got. Um, and doing something based on that. Now I don't want to use key down, I want to use key up. Um, but it may 
may be an issue as to where I do this. Um, key down. Let's have a look, see if I can do it. I'm not sure I can do it on the actual component, but we'll see. So on key up. I'm going to call that function, which we don't have yet. And here we have on mount, handle save, handle cancel. And then prior to that, what do we have? Update abbreviation and message and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So here, before the handle cancel, we'll do on function on key up. If event dot key is equal to now I don't know the code, but it's probably escape. Cancel. So let's see if that works. So I'm in here, and if I hit escape, it doesn't do anything. Try again. This doesn't do it. Okay. Uh, let me just double check something here. should be okay as long as I'm using the right code I'm gonna to have to just quickly check hmm actually what thinking about it let me just double check that I'm not just getting caught by being in here. No. It's interesting not doing all to focus on there. Oops. Do I not have autofocus on there? On the ad I do, don't I? Apparently not. Huh. I thought I did.
Okay. This is on add. Yep. Okay, good. And then on edit. I also want not to focus. Good. Okay. It needs to do a select though, doesn't it? That's a change I need to do. We'll do that in a sec. Um, okay, so why is on key up not doing what it needs to do. Probably best look at docs for that then. Um, Keyboard event key. Key values. So that should be okay. Hmm, I wonder.
just giving it a good whack on the uh, refresh there, just because I've mucked about a bit there. Okay, so if I go in here and hit escape, it's not picking it up. So it must be the input is taken out. I'm here, still not. Hmm. Is why is it not? What have I done? I mean, if I do this, it's just not going to do anything. Yeah. Maybe that's the issue there. Maybe just need to bubble it. This could cause all kinds of problems now. Will it allow me to do anything here? It does, yeah. Oops. <laughs> it also completed. Because uh, I've got um, the normal Snivy Pixie run in the background as well. <coughs> right, okay. So I can be in here and I can hit escape. Do you want to do that? I'm actually wondering whether it is a safe thing to do. It might be a bad idea. Yeah, I think I like it. Okay, so... We're good here. We 
Let me take that out. That's probably good. And then we hit the cancel. And then on the, I uh, don't want to do the same. Oh, I've lost that. Doing this all in a sec. <laughs> One key up. <coughs> Excuse me. Or oh, is that better? So do this and then this and then we'll do a dispatcher. The event dispatcher. No, nope. can't remember what it's called. Uh, where am I last doing it? I'm doing it on snippets list. Create event dispatcher. Okay. And then here, we will simply do dispatcher, Oop. good point, I usually call it dispatch. Yeah, we just call the function. Because you kind of, you're just dispatching something. It's not a dispatcher. Um, and we will call it cancel. And that's it. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Don't need any details. Why is that going? Weird. So, 
that means we're not bubbling up the Onki up. We're just going to call a cancel dispatch there. And then in add snippet, no longer need to do this. Do on cancel equals handle cancel. And then the same for the edit. It's dispatching an event that says cancel now on the screen. So let's see if it still works. So go in here and I hit escape. Yep. Let's do that on here. Let's refresh. Make sure we haven't got any weirdness in the console. So hit escape. You're good. Um, now add. Well, I need a way to do that. Um, Google. Wobble. Google. And then copy that. And I'll say, oh no, I've changed my mind. Escape. And we should not have that extra one. Yep. Let's add it again. save it. It works. Cool. Neat. Okay. Oh, I'm out of time. Better go. Uh, so that's good. Let's kind of close that off. Add cancel to screen and reviews in and edit snippet screens. How do? So, right, I've got to go. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, you take care.